Hi guys, it's Dylan from Bijou Diamond Jewelry in London with another watch discussion video and today we're going to discuss the uh, subject of buying new versus used. So I'll split the video up into two main sections, obviously the advantages and disadvantages of buying used and the advantages and disadvantages of buying new. Uh, but I will factor in a little extra category, which is unworn, so used unworn. So let's start with used. So some advantages of used is lower price versus retail price. So most of the time when you buy a used uh, car or um, a used phone, and it applies the same to watches when you buy a used version, as long as it's not in mega high demand, uh, usually you're paying much less than the retail price of that uh, specific watch. So for example, a rose gold Daytona um, retail price is £27,500, whereas a rose gold Daytona used, um, but still 2018 or 2017, is around the 23 to £22,000 mark. So you're saving a considerable amount off the uh, retail price. Um, another advantage of buying used, it's not necessarily another advantage or advantage of buying used is actually more just a necessity than anything else is that some of those models or a model that you're after may be discontinued and therefore the only way to get hold of it is to buy used so obviously there's a much greater uh, market or used market than there is a brand new market in the watch industry because if you think about the massive extensive history of watches over the years and all the watches that are available now uh, your used market is so much more saturated than um, than the new market if the watch is limited edition or in super high demand, for example, a lot of the Richard Mills are very uh, in demand and they made them in incredibly limited production. So let's say they made 30 of a specific uh, limited edition watch. The only way to get that watch now would be used because uh, Richard Mill would have sold all of those 30 uh, to different clients. So there are times when you have to go used uh, versus new. An advantage to buying used is that you generally buy at market value, provided you haven't paid over the odds for the watch, but you're generally buying at the market value for that watch. Uh, so that means that when you look to sell the piece, you should have, uh, you know, you shouldn't really see a reduction in value of that watch. You should see uh, maybe some profit sometimes. Now let's move on to new. I'll start with some advantages of new. Uh, one big advantage of a brand new watch is that you get your own name on the warranty card and the system from, so for example, Rolex, you'd have your own name on the Rolex card, the warranty card, and then on their system as well. Another advantage is that on that uh, date on the card, you also have the exact date of purchase. Some people really like that, that you know they can remember that day and it's there on the card and they remember that day they actually bought that watch. And some people uh, buy watches on, or date watches, um, for their son's birthday or uh, daughter's birthday when they're actually born. So uh, you can have that watch passed down to them in the future and it's got their exact birth date on, on the actual warranty card. Another advantage uh, to do with date is that because you've bought the watch direct at the boutique or wherever, uh, brand new, you've got that warranty starting from that exact date. You know, you may be past the warranty completely if it's a used watch. Some people also really like a full boutique experience. So when I say new, I'm talking about buying direct from a boutique. Um, so some people really enjoy going to the boutique and having that experience. So for example, if you're buying a uh, Jaeger and you really love the Jaeger brand and you, you know, some people, it's part of the experience of buying the watch. Some people really enjoy that side of buying the watch is actually buying into the brand and being able to walk out of that store with a Jaeger bag um, and having Jaeger signed receipts, etc., uh, etc. Et so some people really enjoy that side of owning a luxury Swiss watch. A lot of people though aren't that bothered and they'd rather just have the watch because obviously that's what you're buying at the end of the day. Another advantage to new is that you'll have a completely original set. So your box and your papers will be totally original to that watch. Another really big advantage of buying new, uh, as in retail price from a boutique, is that occasionally with some watches, for example, a steel Daytona and a lot of uh, the steel watches from Rolex and some steel watches from AP and Patek as well as a few watches from Patek um, and especially Richard Mill as well. If you're buying in at the retail price from a boutique, if you're able to get your hands on one of those watches, that watch is actually worth significantly more uh, the moment you walk out that boutique. So it kind of switches it with those special watches um, instead of walking out that boutique and that watch being worth considerably less now you've actually walked out of the boutique and made money. So there are special examples uh, where it's actually better to buy new rather than used. Another great advantage to a new watch 
and also just unworn watches is that they are completely unworn. No one else has worn them ever. Uh, they have all the original stickers on. Um, and some people really like that new feel to uh, well, anything. It can be a car or a watch or clothes. Um, some people aren't as bothered. They're not bothered about having used them, but some people really like the feeling to know that that watch has only ever been theirs. Another good advantage is a brand new watch generally, most of the time, has never had any previous history of you know, problems. Uh, because it's just come straight from the factory. So there are times when uh, watches come from the factory and they aren't working correctly and therefore they will go back under warranty. But most of the time the watch is perfectly working and there's never been any problems with that piece. And stemming off that you also know that within that brand new watch that's come direct from the factory that every single part internally and externally is completely genuine. Uh, it's never been tampered with someone outside of that brand. Um, so. For example, if you're looking at a vintage, uh, you know, vintage Rolex, a vintage Submariner, uh, you don't know that necessarily that a watchmaker has done some work on that piece and not used genuine Rolex parts. Uh, whenever we service a watch, we always tell the client we'll only use genuine Rolex parts, um, and that's because we want to keep the watch as genuine as possible. And we found many occasions when a previous watchmaker has put, uh, you know, incorrect or third-party parts on the watch. Uh, and it means that the watch doesn't necessarily function correctly. Uh, so we always believe in putting full genuine parts in a watch. Another advantage to buying new for some people is it's the current model. Um, some people really like to be wearing the current model. It's less so uh, an issue compared to fashion, but um, yeah, people enjoy that current model. Obviously because they can show off and say, I've got the new uh, Daytona or whatever, but at the same time, there are people out there that buy it for uh, the technical reason. So maybe an increased power reserve or a ceramic bezel, which means it's not gonna fade over time and it's gonna be scratch resistant. Uh, maybe the glide lock uh, clasp on a Submariner versus you know an old 80s Submariner, uh, the newer bracelet with solid links. You know, there's plenty of advantages to the newer watches in terms of technical side. And for that reason, most of the time, uh, the newer watches are much more harder wearing, much more reliable than the older watches. Another great advantage of buying new is that you know that it's never ever been polished. Uh, so sometimes if you buy a vintage, you know, gold uh, watch or steel, even any watch, um, especially on gold, you can notice that the shape of the case has changed and sometimes it can become a little bit rounded. You lose the sharp lines, especially on automobile watches, where it's very much about angular lines. Uh, everything becomes a little bit rounded and you lose that same presence that it had when it left the factory. That's something that I think is a little bit underrated about um, new watches versus used, is that you know 100% that it's never been touched by a polishing wheel. Now on my little subcategory, which is unworn. Uh, so something that's a really good advantage of buying an unworn watch. So the unworn watch is essentially a brand new watch because it's never been worn. You'll have your full original set. Um, it's all the stickers are on it, uh, but it's just gone via someone else. So someone else has bought that in the boutique and then immediately after they've gone to sell that watch again. So it's like buying a brand new car, uh, not putting any miles on the car and straight away selling it um, you know, immediately after an auto trader. So there are great advantages to unworn. Uh, one of them is beating a waiting list, so faster, you know, faster delivery times. So, if, for example, a steel Daytona, uh, you maybe want to buy a steel Daytona from Rolex, you know, from a Rolex boutique, and you want it brand new. Um, you can't do that because there's obviously extensive waiting list, and it's very hard to get a steel Daytona direct from the boutique. So, there, if you're, you know, if you want the watch very quickly, you can pay for a used unworn one. That will be dated that month or you know a few days ago or maybe a few months ago um, that will be completely unworn but you'll pay a premium over uh, but it means you have the watch straight away a slight disadvantage of an unworn watch is usually the papers aren't in your name uh, because it's a used watch it's been via someone else but the watch is obviously never worn so um, the actual watch itself is not used but it has to go down as used you know in terms of paperwork there are watches however that are considerable saving versus, so again, someone like a, a rose gold Daytona. Uh, we sell that watch around 23, 24,000 pounds versus the 27 and a half thousand pound retail. So even though it's a brand new watch, completely unborn, um, it's come via us, but you just pay significantly less for that piece. Uh, you're getting the exact same watch. 
And in fact, in my opinion, obviously I'm gonna be a bit more biased, but in my opinion, our service that we provide is much more bespoke and much more friendly than you would receive for you if you went direct to a Rolex boutique. Again, you've got the same advantages as a new watch. You've got uh, you know the brand new technology, increased power reserve, uh, blah, 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 blah. So that's an advantage of unworn versus, as long as it's a new model, uh, unworn versus used. And again, you've also got that advantage of the watch never being polished as well, because obviously the watch is unworn, it's never been touched. Thanks guys for watching. Let me know about what you think of new versus unworn. What would you prefer to buy? Obviously it's a big subject and you can discuss so many individual cases with individual watches. And there's always an advantage to buy unworn versus used and new for each piece. But yeah, let me know in the comments what you guys generally uh, prefer to do. I'm really interested to see if there's lots of people that love to go to boutiques or if there's lots of people that like to buy unworn used, um, you know, or maybe just used in general. It would just be uh, interesting to see what the general audience is interested in buying. Mm -hmm.